Hello everybody and welcome back. Today we're going to proceed with selecting gems and swapping them with another gem that is next to them. So last time we left we got it so that we have an array of gems that uh, are different colors and each one knows its neighbor. If you click on a gem we can see that it knows the neighbors of that gem. So we're going to go ahead and work off from here and we're going to uh, swap the two gems and select them. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to add another field here called a selector. And this is going to be a game object that we're going to create in Unity. Um, Go ahead and drag out the game ob or gem prefab, and so we're going to add another uh, game object to this, but it's going to be a particle system, and we're going to call this the selector. Position this at zero 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 zero. Um, so it's not going to be very uh, in-depth particle system. We're just going to use it so that we can tell whether or not we're clicking on a gem. So set the speed to zero, lifetime to one, point one on the size, change the color to yellow, and then we need to change the shape Drag in the radius, and then up the emission rate a little bit. Move this in front of the gem. So now when we look at it, we can see clearly that there's something going on. Uh, we can make it a little darker. I'm not sure how it's going to actually appear with the colors in front of it. But we can go ahead and change the size over lifetime. Alright, so that should be more visible. Okay, so on our gem, in our gem script, we're going to take the selector object and drag it onto. Uh, its field. And then we're going to be prefab this object. We can delete it. So now this selector has the uh, particle effect. Um, we're going to we're going to start with this uh, turned off up here on the gem in the prefab. And so that way when we create everything, they don't start sparkling. And then you can see how it looks, and you can see that this one is the one that we selected. Okay, so we're going to create a function called public void um, toggle selector. And what this is going to do is we're going to have another variable, um, public pool is selected. And then we're going to say is selected equals dot is selected. So this will just, whatever this is, it will say it's not that. And then it will store that back into is selected. So if it's false, then it says it's not false. And now it's true. And the other way works. And then we're going to say selector dot set active is selected. And then on mouse down, we're going to say toggle selector. So now we can click and we can turn them on on all the different gems. And if we click the gem again, it'll turn off. But it, it takes a couple of seconds for it to actually start appearing. If you, you know, it's a little slow, so we can fix that by checking the pre-warm box 
And now it starts immediately. Okay. 